Hey, church family, uh, what a year we had in 2020. And we're going to take a moment and kind of look at the year in pictures and video and, and just kind of uh, think back over the year. And you know the song, I, I want you to pay close attention to the words of the music. It talks about the ability for us to see flowers in the desert. And that's certainly COVID this year. We have seen bright spots. We've seen great ministry opportunities that have arisen out of COVID. And so we just want to celebrate that and what God has allowed us to do uh, while we lament the things we couldn't do. God is so good, and I hope you enjoy this. You bring light to the barren places, light to the darkest spaces, God. It's your nature. You bring joy. To the broken hearted home, to the ones who've lost it, God, it's your nature. My name is DJ. I volunteer with the youth on Tuesday nights, and the times that I see God most at work are the times where we go off script after the organized programming. We stay for 30, 45 minutes sometimes after youth just talking about uh, Jesus and their lives and how all that fits together. Hi, I'm Olivia and I joined youth in March of 2020. My cousin introduced me to it and I joined junior high for a while and now I'm in senior high. The ways that this ministry has definitely impacted me over the year is you guys have been super kind and super welcoming. Um, I didn't even know who you are, you didn't know who I was, but you guys were so nice the entire time and I got to know some really great people and learn some really great things about God and my relationship with Him. Hi, my name is, for those who don't know me, is Hilda Postma. For some, they know me better by Mr. P. In the fall, in cooperation with Open Hours Mission, we are in a food distribution hub in our church for a couple months. I volunteered for several shifts, getting food packages ready and put them in clients' trunks. I also volunteer two days a week at Open Arms Mission in Welland, driving their truck, picking up food at several businesses in Welland. It's amazing how much food otherwise would get wasted. There's no need for anybody to go without food. Vanderbilt and um, I have the honor and privilege to be able to work with the live stream team and uh, that just involves making sure that the Sunday services are broadcasted live on every Sunday no matter who can be at the church or, or not and um, I feel blessed by being able to use my skill set to work with this wonderful team of people to make sure that you guys, everyone can see what God has to say for them in their own homes. Um, right on the exact time that the service is supposed to happen. And so uh, it's just a great privilege to be able to do that.
prayer class this year, the Lord has been teaching me to trust Him when I feel overwhelmed and to follow His lead when I feel like we've run out of material. He always has a plan and a purpose for each class. And He has done exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine according to His power that has been at work providing meaningful connections for us, mutual encouragement, and moments of praise and prayer together. Last year I participated as a shepherd in the Christmas Eve drive through nativity. Um, one instant where I saw God working through people was actually at the very end. Um, I've never seen so many people so like motivated to clean up. Um, everyone was just so excited to go home because we were cold and stuff. But um, just seeing everyone work together and the way people were totally encouraging each other right after we finished was just like such an embodiment of God. And it was just a really nice way to end um, a fun, slightly cold and eventful night. Hi, my name is Paul Zipek and I had the privilege of taking part in the live nativity on Christmas Eve. Um, I was cast in the part of a Roman soldier, which I've done on numerous occasions. So, and <clears throat> I was amazed that there were over a hundred cars lined up and they even lined up a half hour early and I, I could tell they were excited to see um, see the night as it progressed. So after the, all the cars went through <clears throat> I had the opportunity to go through with um, Anne and Emily were recording for the DVD so I just kind of followed along and watched at each station and it was really meaningful to me. I'd never seen anything like that before but I felt like I was really could take part in the whole entire story of the birth of Jesus and I was just amazed at the the actors that were there that <clears throat> they did their lines 50 times and it was just so meaningful meaningful and all the animals that were there and I just walked through each station and at the very last station where I saw the baby Jesus that's where it really hit home to me so I was really glad and thankful to take part in something like that you bring joy to the broken hearted home, to the ones who 